Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome back to our video on mathematics for matriculation sem first semester. So, first of all, and uh, I apologize, deeply apologize for not being uploading, for not uploading the videos for a long time. Uh, I have my reason, I have my legit reasons. Uh, I've been too busy nowadays. So, Alhamdulillah, I have... I found some of my time to make this video, so I already I already read the comments that I have received from uh, at my channel at my most of the videos. So uh, again, I deeply apologize. So inshallah, I will try to make to upload the videos on mathematics for matriculation uh, periodically as I can. Okay. So today for to, for this video I will focus on indices set and uh, indices set and logarithm. Okay. So actually if you read the book uh, published by Oxford Fajar, the next subtopic that we should discuss is about complex numbers. But I believe uh, because you already being exposed to the dual number system. Okay. So. In my opinion, you should, the next thing that you should learn is something that related to real number system. Although actually it is a set and logarithm also applicable for complex numbers. But you should be, in my, in my, still in my opinion, you should uh, teach the student uh, something that related to the real number system before you go into another kind of number, uh, system number. Okay, so in this video, I will, fo I will fo only focus on indices. And actually, indices, set, set and logarithm is a topic that we already learned in the school, in the secondary school. I believe uh, the, first, the first year, the first encounter for, for all of you is when you are taking PT3. Again, you encounter again the same, the same concept, the same topic. Again, in SPM Additional Mathematics, for those who take who took the science stream in the secondary school. So, in this video and uh, videos related on set and, in, and logarithm will be short. I, I try to make it short. So, because you you already encountered it twice, so it should it should uh, should. You you already supposed to be familiar with the things, the concept that I will that, and the, the properties that I will present to you. Okay, so let's take a recap. Okay, what is indices? Okay, it, okay, indices is plural for index. So we talk about one index now, uh, in the, an index now. Okay, some books they are they are, they are not use the term indices or index. They prefer to use the term exponent. So when you see uh, you, when you see this term in a book in some books, so please don't afraid. It just refer to the same thing. Exponents and indices are the same thing. Okay, but because our syllabus using the term indices, so I will use the terms in the indices. Okay, so going back to to the definition what is an index okay what is an index so let's say we have let's say we have if we have a if we have a real number a a real number a and n is a positive integer okay so if we have a real number a and a positive integer n Okay, then we can define the following. A to the power of n is defined as A multiply A multiply A multiply A how many times? N times. Okay. So this is how we define an index. So an index usually we refer as a to the power of n is defined as 
the multiplication of a by itself n times a multiplication of a by itself by n times okay so that is an index okay so when we so this notation is introduced to make to make your calculation and to make your to make uh, what we can say that to make the book related to mathematics previously in the previous to make it shorter okay because actually before before they before they introduce this term they write the index like this so they most of them found that this kind of notation is uh, troublesome so they introduce a shorter version that is a to the power of n that is referring to the multiplication of a by itself by n times okay so in an index we have two things first is sorry first is base so now in this notation a is our base a is our base and n is our index where we got our topics today indices okay so we we to read this we got we simply mention it a to the power of n again a to the power of n okay so for example i take some example here so example we have example so let's say we have let's say we have 5 squared means 5 multiply by 5 or in other words 5 multiply 5 is 25 okay so 25 is in in in, in the index form in the index form it's it is 5 to the power of 2 or we simply call it 5 squared 5 squared okay another example is negative 3 cube or negative 3 to the power of 3 okay so we have negative 3 cube is simply negative 3 multiply by negative 3 multiply by negative 3 so in other words 3 negative 3 cube is a multiplication of negative 3 by itself by 9 times eh, by 3 times sorry so negative 3 multiply negative 3 multiply negative 3 gives us negative 27 negative 27 okay another example is another example is 1 over 2 in bracket to the power of 4 so 1 over 2 to the power of 4 is simply 1 over 2 multiply 1 over 2 multiply 1 over 2 multiply with 1 over 2 okay so means that 1 over 2 time multiplied multiply by itself by 4 times so we have 1 multiply 1 multiply 1 multiply 1 is 1 over 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 gives us 16 okay so this is a few examples of uh, indices the examples of use how to use the the indices the index notation okay so from the example from the example we can see that okay we can see that here we evaluate negative 3 okay as like this so many students include uh, especially uh, this the SPM student they tend to make mistakes they tend to make mistake uh, when we have negative negative number when we had when they have negative number having an index having an index especially uh, for this example so most of the student will write like this and then they put it in the in the in the what what do you call it in the calculator i show you So they do is take a, uh, a little bit longer time.
Okay, so most of them will put will when they thought it is it is like this, then they have negative three. Sorry, negative three to the power of three. So what you get is negative twenty seven. Still negative twenty seven, but this this is wrong because when you have because when you have let's say you have an even index an even index for example for example when you have negative 3 squared if you write it like this what you get is 9 and this is very wrong this is very wrong because supposedly if you're going back to this definition this one supposed to be like this 3 negative 3 squared mean negative 3 multiply with negative 3 okay so when two numbers negative are being multiplied so the negative will cancel the, will, will cancel the other negative so we, we have our, what we have then is what's left is 3 multiply 3 so we have 9 okay that's why when you write it like this okay this is wrong this is very very wrong this is very very wrong okay so please bear in mind that please bear in mind that you should not write it like this please put bracket or including when you put it into the in, in when you're calculating using the calculator when you evaluate the term using calculator please 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 use the bracket use the bracket okay so please bear in mind that okay so the same thing when we have a constant let's say we have this one let's say we have 2 a to the power of n okay 2 2 a to the power of n 2 multiply a to the power of n means 2 multiply a n Okay, you should not write it like this. You should not write it like this. 2 a n. It's not equal like this. It's not, it's not equal. It's not equal because we will counter, we will encounter one law of indices that related to this, to this form. When we say that this is wrong, we later we go into that, into the related, related law of indices. Okay. So, also please bear in mind, these two, uh, commonly these two mistakes that usually the student will do okay so please bear in mind okay so now when we already learn or when we already distinguish what is an index what is an index what it is consists of so we know that an index consists of base and indices okay so now we can go into the critical part, one of the critical part in this topic is law of indices. Laws of indices. Laws of indices. Okay, so I think because you already learned this law, the law of indices, the laws of indices. So I just going to uh, recap it uh, sh uh, short and sweet. So first thing first, first thing first, when we have the first law, okay, so for the first law is when we have two indices, AM and AN, N to the power of M and to A to the power of M, uh, these two indices uh, have the same base but different indices okay both of them have the same index uh, have the same base a okay so when we when these two indices being multiplied what we do is to simplify the calculation we just combine the indices in the form of summation m plus n M plus N. For example, for example, okay, for example, we have 2 to the power of 3 multiply with 2 to the power of 2. Okay, so 
According to this law, we can rewrite, rewrite, rewrite it as 2 to the power of 3 plus 2. That will give us 2 to the power of 5. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 32? Yes, 32. Okay. Alright. So, that is the first law. Second law is... Okay, second law is when we have, hmm, when we have, okay, we have two indices, but only we have one, one base. So, let's say we have this form in bracket, a to the power of n, close bracket, to the power of n. Okay, so now we have two indices, m and n, but only we have one, one base. A and then A to the power of N is being confined in a bracket in a bracket and then that bracket itself is being being powered to N so what we can do here is to simplify it to simplify the calculation we just simply multiply the indices M multiply N A to the power of M times N okay so example again example is Let's say we have 3 to the power of 2 multiply with 4. Okay, so according to this law, we can rewrite it as 3 to the power of 2 multiply 4. And 2 multiply 4 is 8. So we have 3 to the power of 8. So 3 to the power of 8 is 3 to the power of 8, 6,561. 6,561 Okay Third law So we have here Still we have in a bracket But now instead of we have Two indices, one base We have Two base And one indices One indices Okay So Two base, two bases being confined in a bracket, and then that bracket is now being powered to uh, to m. Okay, so what we can do here is we can rewrite it again as a to the power of m multiply b to the power of m. Okay, so that's why if you remember what I said here before, uh, why we should not write two a n as like this. Uh, so because if we write it, if we, if we write it in, in this kind, we need to multiply and we need to put the power on the, on two and a. But here we have to multiply a to the power of n. Uh, that's why these two form, uh, these two expression are different. So please don't make the this mistake, this kind of mistake. Okay. So for this law, we have example. We have example. Okay, I take an one kind of simpler example. Okay, so let's say we have 20 to the power of 3. Okay, so we know that 20 is, uh, is a product of many numbers. But I prefer 20 is a product of 4 and 5. So we have 20. The factor of the factors of 20 are 4 and 5. So we can rewrite it as 4 multiply 5 close bracket to the power of 3. So now according to this law, equals 4 to the 4 cube multiply 5 cube. Okay, so we have 4 cube. Uh, 16 multiply 4 is 64. Uh, 5 cube is one, 125. So, 64 multiply 125 is 8,000. 8,000. Okay, so you can write it, this, this, this thing also as the simpler one, 22 multiply 10 cube. And then you have, you will have 2 cube multiply with 10 cube. So, what you get is 2 cube is 8. 
and then 10 cube is 1000 so you what you will get is also 8000 okay so that's related to the third law of indices all right so we go into the fourth one the fourth one oh sorry i should put it okay so now we have the fourth law okay so now still we have uh, we still we still have two in the uh, two base but now instead of being multiplied a product of two in these two base so we have ratio of two base being power 2 m so we have a over b close bracket power m power to the power of m so for this kind just now we have product form so now we have ratio form or quotient form Okay, so what we can do here is we expand the bracket means that we expand the power is the power to numerator and denominator. So we have here a to the power of m over b to the power of m. Okay. All right. Okay. So for this one, example, we have. 2 over 5 to the power of uh, to the power of 3 or 2 over 5 cube ok so according to this rule we expand the bracket means that we expand the power or the index to numerator and denominator so we have 2 cube over 5 cube so we have 2 cube is 8 uh, 5 cube is 125 okay so we, we cannot simplify this fraction uh, anymore so we just left it as 8 over 135 okay the last two laws the last two laws of indices uh, this the, the last two law of the indices is actually have the same form have the same form but different but with different condition okay so i introduce the fifth law first so we have the fifth law is a to the power of m over a to the power of n okay so when we have two indices same base different with different uh, different in, different indices and these two indices uh, in the form of ratio have the form of ratio so the first the first form uh, the first simplified form we can we can write is we can write is a m minus n so now we have the power now m minus n so this form we can write it if if m is greater than n if m is greater than n then only that we can use this form a to the power of m minus n so example example is we have 2 to the power of 5 over 2 to the power of 3 okay so we have this kind of form same base different indices so 5 is greater than 3 Okay, 5 is greater than 3. So, we can write it in this form. Alright, so we can write it as 2 to the power of 5 minus 3 equals to 2 squared, which is 4. Okay, so this form is, we can use this form only if this power is greater than this power. Okay. Oh, sorry okay how about how about if we have m is is m is less than n so here's come the sixth and the last law okay so we have a to the power of m over a to the power of n equals to 1 over a to the power of 
n minus m if m is greater than n okay so now if we have the other the the opposite the opposite condition m is less than n or n is greater than m now okay so if we have that kind of condition then we can rewrite it as this form okay so example example is we have 2 to 2 cube over 2 to the power of 5 okay so since now 3 is less than 5 3 is less than 5 so we write we rewrite it this this fraction again as in this form so we have 1 over 2 to the power of 3 sorry 5 minus 2 sorry 5 minus 3 which e uh, equals to 1 over 2 squared equals to 1 over 4 1 over 4 okay all right so these are six basic laws of indices six basic laws of indices that you suppose if you should have known, known it by heart so you should know these six indices six laws by your heart okay so you should remember, memorize these six laws okay but you should not only memorize it you should know how to use it okay you should you should not only know how to memorize but also know how to use it okay so now here's come an example okay so let's have an example let's have an example we have okay so example so express 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 the sorry sorry it's not express okay sorry sorry this okay sorry find the value okay hmm which part I should use okay never mind I think simplify okay so let's say we have a is we have 1 over 2 multiply multiplied by x to the power of 4 bracket and then another bracket 16 multiply x cube ok so how we should uh, simplify this one simply we expand the bracket that's all ok so when we have two brackets ok being multiplied ok so now we can change this expression in this form uh, means sorry I think I better ok so equals to 1 over 2 x to the power of 4 multiply with or some some people prefer to use dot to denote multiply okay so 16 x cube okay so now we have two constant and two indices with with same base that is x okay so now for these indices since both of them have the same base so we put it using one of this law okay so now our question is which one okay so i think i prefer rearrange the term again so we have 1 over 2 multiply 16 multiply x to the power of 4 multiply x to the power of 3 or multiply with x cube okay so 1 over 2 multiply 16 is easy so 16 divided by 2 will give us 8 Okay, what's left for us is these two indices. Since these two indices are being connected by the multiplication sy symbol, 
means that x to the power of 4 multiplied with x cubed so we, we use the first law here okay so we write it in this form okay so now 8 multiply x to the power of 4 plus 3 and 4 plus 3 is 7 so we have 8 multiply x to the power of 7 okay easy right so this is supposed to be uh, because if you really understand how these laws being used you can employ or you can utilize this law to answer this kind of question simplify the given expressions okay simplify the given expression okay so we have another example here is another example here okay I think better I take this one. Okay, so we have B. Sorry. So we have B. We have in bracket 2x cubed, close bracket, and then another bracket 3x squared over close bracket, and then over. In bracket x squared close bracket cube. Okay, so for this one, so I think the first thing that we can do is we simplify uh, denominator first, and then we simplify the number. Uh, sorry, we simplify the numerator first, and then we simplify the numerator before we can evaluate the whole fraction. Okay, so the first thing is we simplify the numerator. So 2x cube multiply 3x cube over. Okay, so now we have in bracket x squared plus bracket cube. Okay, so we, rem we, we remember that one of the law of indices that, is, that, have, that, has, that has the same form is this form, the second law. So we just multiply the two indices. Okay, so we now have x to multiply 3. Okay, and then we simplify it again. First, we simplify the, 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 the numerator. So 2 multiply 3 is 6. And then we have x cubed multiply with x squared. So x, 3, x to the power of 3 plus 2. So, 3 plus 2 is, 3 plus 2 is 5 over x to the power of 6. x to the power of 6. Okay, now what's left is here, 6 x cube, uh, 6 x to the power of 5 over 6, uh, 6 to the power of 6. Sorry, sorry. Uh, 6 x to the power of 5 over x to the power of 6. Okay. So, we cannot do anything about 6 here, so we can, we can just ignore the constant, but we still need to write. When I say ignore that, we, need, we don't need to evaluate it anymore, this constant. What's left is we need to evaluate these indices. So, now we, we remember that we have the same form. Now, in this, we have two indices. Now, we have two indices. Okay, these two indices have the same base, but only different is uh, the indices, the index, the power. Okay, so now we, we can see that 5 is less than 6. 5 is less than 6. So we try to see which uh, law that related. So we can see that here M is less than N. So we use this, the 6th law here. So we can rewrite it as 6 over X. 6 minus 5. And 6 minus 5 is? 1. So we have x to the power of 1, but x to the power of 1, we don't need to write the, the power when the power is 1. So just what, what's left is 6 over x. Okay. Alright. Okay. Another example. 
I think three is apa is is, is a sufficient. Okay. So we have another example is here. C. We have in bracket one over three. Sorry. Multiply with multiply x to the power of four multiply y to the power of three negative three. Close bracket to the power of negative 2. Negative 2. Okay. Okay, so now we have to simplify it. First, we remember that we have the, we have indices trapped in a bracket and then we have outside the bracket is uh, powered with another index so we use the I think the second index the second law here so we expand the indices so we act when we when I say expand the indices mean that each term here will be receive this index negative 2 okay so we rewrite it again as 1 over 3 negative 2 and then x 4 multiply with negative 2 multiply y to the power of 3 multiply with negative 2 okay so now we have here okay so the first term here 1 over 3 to the power of negative 2 means 1 to the power of negative 2 over 3 to the power of negative 2 Okay, so I will, I will, I will extend this one letter, okay. So, and then we have x 4 multiply with negative 2. So, we have x to the power of negative 8 multiply with y. Now, we have negative 3 multiply with negative 2. So, we have y to the power of 6. So, now, only y have the positive indices. The others we have, have the negative indices, okay. So, what we can do here is, I will introduce you another law or another properties that is negative indices. Okay, I think I better leave some space here. Negative index. Okay. Let's say we have a negative index. So I think I will leave the, the, the expression or the proof how we get this law, how we get this this thing. I will leave it to your le the, the respective lecturer. You can ask you can ask your lecturer how we get it because it just simply we manipulate uh, the laws that I have mentioned to you. Okay, so we have a to the power of n. What we can do is to simplify it. 1 over a to the power of n. So now when we have in this negative indices, it is actually have this form 1 over 1 over the positive index. Ah, 1 over the positive index. Okay, so now we have here, I think since both of them are negative, we can just uh, we, can, we can just simply simply uh, Interchange the it is the 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 numerator and the numerator and denominator because if we see here again a negative a, a, a to the power of negative n is actually a to the power of negative n over one. So now we just interchange the 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 location of the numerator and denominator. So what we have here is. 9 over 1. So, since 9 over 1 is not related, right? So, 9, just 9. Okay. Multiply with. Okay. Multiply with 1 over x to the power of 8. Multiply with 6. y to the power of 6. Okay. So, I think you can simplify it for the more. 9y to the power of 6 over, eight, over x to the power of 8. 
Okay. So we have negative index. Okay. Okay, another another kind of index besides negative index is we have rational index. What I mean by rational index is let's say you have let's say you have a to the power of 1 over n so now our index is in the form of fraction 1 over n okay so what we can do here is we can convert it to the set form a set n a set n okay so for this rational index, I will leave the explanations, the further explanations to the next video because our next video related to sets. Okay, but what I can tell you furthermore is, okay, so we have, we have the index in the form of 1 over n. Okay, if we have the index in the form of still uh, rational, but in, now we have the, the, the ratio m over n. Okay, so we can convert it as, so we can convert it as a to the power of m set n. Okay, alright. So I think that the, as I said before, the, the further explanation on rational index, I will, I will postpone it for the next video because our next video related to set. Okay, alright, but I just mentioned it. Uh, as an, uh, what we, can, what we can say that spoiler for you okay so it's, it's a spoiler so I think let's see another example let's see another example related to these two okay so example okay evaluate So we have the first example is 64 to the power of 2 over 3. Okay, <laughs> so the first example related to rational index. Okay, so what you can do is convert into this form because we have 2 over 3, not 1 over 3. Okay, so in this form we have, so in this form we have. Okay, I think better use blue. So we have okay, we have sixty four. Sorry, sixty four squared over eh, sixty four squared set three. Sixty four squared set three. Okay, so now we know that. Okay, I think you can use calculator here. Prefer to use calculator. Okay, simply direct the use the calculator. You also can. Okay, so calculator here. I don't know uh, because I cannot find the the standard calculator that being used in the UST. So I just use what uh, the scientific calculator that is provided in the in the Play Store. So we have this form shift this one. Okay, three and then bracket. Don't forget, don't forget the bracket. Sixty four close bracket squared. So when we use calculator, we have. The answer, 16. Okay. Alright, so another example is, <laughs> another example is, okay, we have second example. Sorry. Second example, B, in bracket, P multiply Q close bracket to the power of negative 1 over P to the power of negative 1 plus Q to the power of negative 1. Okay, so now here we have, first thing first, we look into the numerator, we have this form. 
We have the law related to here one, to this one. The third law. So we expand the bracket to each base. So now we expand the, the power to the index or the power to each index. So we have P to the power of negative 1 multiply Q to the power of negative 1. And then we have here and then we have here is I think we don't need to read this one because okay sorry sorry okay we just for the numerator numerator we just directly use this one okay so we have 1 over pq over the so numerator also we use the same rule 1 over p plus 1 over q okay so in other words 1 over PQ divided by divided by okay divided by which one I should use okay which one I should use okay I think prefer this one 1 P plus Q Okay, but okay, I think better. <laughs> okay, okay, this one is quite complicated. Okay, okay, so the denominator we, we think we should we should just put it into one by into one one fraction also with denominator pq. Okay, so we have here q plus p over pq. And then since we multiply, since we divide with a fraction, we can change it into multiplication. 1 over PQ multiply with, now we invert, we, we, we interchange the, the numerator and denominator. So now our numerator is now PQ over P plus Q. So here this PQ, cancel out this PQ. So, what's left is 1 over P plus Q. Okay. Alright. So, these two, exam these two examples related to negative and rational indices. Okay. The last part of this video. The last part of this video is related to Index, index property of equality, index property of equality. So, index property of equality just states that, okay, so if we have, if we have positive real number, so for all positive real number A so A in positive real number with condition that A must not equal to 0 and also A must not equal to 1 ok so for for all positive not positive in here sorry, sorry so for all positive real number A with conditions A not equal to 0 and A not equal to 1 we have the following properties. Okay, we have the following law. Okay. If A M equals to A to the power of N, then it implies that M equals to N. Okay, so if we have two indices, different different in the different power, same base. We say that if a to the power of m equals to a to the power of n, okay, means that since we have these two indices are being equal, okay, being equal, so what we can conclude that m is equal to n. That's what what this this statement implies. Okay, so 
index property of equality is uh, useful when we when, when we want when, when we want to solve equations where the index is unknown. Okay, so this one I put not useful to solve equation where sorry where index is unknown means that in, in that question we want to find what is the index okay so example again example eh? again example Okay. Example. Sorry. Solve. Okay. So we have the first question is sorry. Two to the power of three x equals to four to the power of x plus one. Okay, so how to solve this question? Okay, so now here's the part that we need to we need to use or we need to utilize all information that we know about indices, including the basic six law of indices. Okay, so now these two indices being connected with equal sign means that this indice so it means that this index is equal to this index. But now we can see that the base are not same the base are not same while our index property of equality requires both index have the same base okay however we can see that 2 and 4 are related by 4 is equals to 2 squared okay so now what we can do is we change the base at the left hand side Instead of 4, we, can, we change it into base 2. Okay, so now we rewrite re it as again as 2 to the power of 3x equals, okay, instead of 4, we write it as 2 squared, close bracket, and then x to the power of 1. And then since we have bracket, 1 base, 2 indices, uh, separated by in the separated by bracket so we just combine using multiplication so again we write it again as 2 to the power of 3x multiply 2 eh, equals 2 to the power of okay so now, so now we multiply 2 with x 2x plus 2 okay now so we have this form same base same base so we have this two this base is two this uh, this base is also this base is also two uh, uh, is also two sorry i make too many uh misspoke today okay so since this 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 index equals to this index so this implies that 3x is equals to 2x plus 2 Okay, now so, so now we want to find what is the value of x. Okay, so this one is just a uh, mere sim simple algebra. So x is two. X is two. Okay. All right, another example. So we have another example. Okay, so now we have this kind of question. Okay, 5x squared minus 25 to the power of 3x minus 4 equals to 0. Okay, so now we have equals to 0. Okay, but we don't have this form. a to the power of m equals to a to the power of n. Okay, okay. So, we can see that the left hand side is equal to zero. It's equal to zero. What we can do is, we bring out this negative 25 to the power of 3 minus 3x minus 4 to the left hand, to the right hand side, sorry. 
so we can have what we have here is 5 to the power of x squared equals to 25 to the power of 3x minus 4 and then we can see that 25 is actually 5 squared okay so I will skip some part so we can arrive at 5 to the power of x squared equals to 5 to the power of 6x minus 8 okay so since both of them have the same base that is 5 so we can say that we can we, we can conclude that x squared equals to 6x 6 6x minus 8 okay so to now to find the value of x since our x since the this equation have the maximum power 2 or quadratic means that this equation is quadratic so we just solve it quadratically okay so we have x squared minus 6x minus a plus 8 equals to 0 so for this one you can use the you can use calculator there is there is some part in the calculator you can use I think you, most of you already know okay sorry I close <laughs> so I, I close this one <laughs> okay I think most of you already know how to solve quadratic equation using calculator, but I prefer to use the old way. <laughs> okay, so we have x, x, 4, 2, 4, 2, eh? Okay, I think correct. So, x squared, 8. Here we have 4x, 2x. So, plus these two, we have 6x. But we need to have negative 6, so more this one and this one must be negative so negative 4 and negative 2 so we can factorize this one as x to x minus 4 multiply with x minus 2 equals to 0 so now we have x is equals to 4 and x equals to 2 so we already solved this equation so for this kind of equation where we have equals to 0 but the left hand side has uh, 2 uh, two indices so the trick is you move one of the indices to the right okay so because because we have this one is zero means there's nothing there in the right hand side so we can move one of the indices from the left hand side to the right before we can solve it according to to the index property of equality okay so I think this all for today uh, for this video so I hope uh, this will help this video will help you in understand this topic so if you have any question or any comments uh, please uh, please write it in the comment section I will try to answer it uh, as fast as I could because the notification does not does not uh, does not come to my phone so I have to check the notification the, your comments by using uh, browsers at my laptops okay so if you have any question or you have any comments please uh, write it in the comment section okay so that's all for this video uh, i will see you again in the next video on set inshallah okay